provide some new information on the Oregani killer. Police are still at a loss as to the identity of the so-called Oregani killer, who currently remains at large. In a related tragedy, it was learned that the investigation has cost the life of Madison Page. Ah, oh, she's dead. ...covering the Oregani killer story. Unfortunately, the investigation has cost the life of Norman Jayden, the FBI profiler working on the case. Jayden was killed while trying to arrest the Oregani killer in circumstances that remain unclear. A full police investigation is pending. Well, Sean survived. He's back with his father. Is this where we live now? Only if you really, really want to. Or we can find something you want. This is a happy ending. It doesn't matter where we live, as long as we're together. I will never let anyone or anything separate us again. I wish I was good, as good. Ugh. I wish I were as good at fighting for my life as I am at solving mysteries. All right, then I think we can say. I guess everyone can't be a fighter. Some of us are stuck being lovers. <laughs> She has no enthusiasm whatsoever for that story. Just providing some mandatory coverage and some lip service to the memory of Madison Page. But Ethan won't forget. Ethan will never forget. She's the one girl who ever loved me and didn't blame me for the death of Jason. and didn't take my ass for half of everything I owned. He's being buried in two days in some godforsaken hole in the back end of beyond the Washington. I have to attend his medical protocol. I'll pass. Jade and I didn't see eye to eye on much. No problem. I understand. Hey, sir. I still have his glasses. What should I do with them? Well, you won't be needing them again. Do whatever you want them. There has to be some ending where Blake's life is just completely ruined. And I need to keep playing until I get that ending. <laughs> well, I got what I wanted, which was for Ethan and Sean to be together again, but at oh, what a price. At what a price.
Jaden's consciousness is still on the network. And he's very, very unhappy with Blake's detective methods. He's going to give Blake a couple of virtual lectures in psychology posthumously. What's Scott Shelby going to do now? Is he going to have to keep kidnapping little boys? Repeating this cycle over and over again until he finds a father capable of saving his son? I really think that the origami killer is still at large. At the end of this whole story. He hasn't hung up his hat yet. Written and directed by David Cage. Good job, David Cage. Guillaume de Fondomer. Monsieur Fondomer, I salute you for a story well told. Charles Coutier, Alexandre, I can't even read the names, they're going by too fast. Damien Casteltor and Associates. This is a what happens if you clock the guy in the back of the head with the wine bottle, which I didn't do. Here's Ethan at the um, power plant. It's the same um, way that I was going to cut my finger off before. I decided not to. I guess he's just holding that piece of wood in his mouth so he doesn't bite down from the pain and like damage his teeth when he cuts his finger off. I don't know if I did that to the doctor's body after killing him. I remember drilling his heart out, but I don't remember like kicking him with medicine to make him slump down. So Ethan survives this jump. But Madison doesn't survive her jump. I wish the game logic were a little more consistent, like... They can't keep changing their rules. This is what happens if, uh, Scott Shelby successfully confronts Mr. Kramer, which he didn't do in my game because he took too many shots. So I guess, um, at the end they show you how, like, just some little snippets about how the story could have gone differently, just to get you to keep playing and to be curious about, like, alternate, you know, possibilities. I'm really curious about alternate possibilities already. I'm really curious whether, um, you can get into a fist fight between Jaden and Blake if Jaden falsely accuses Blake of being the origami killer. That would be, like, a really good, um, storyline to get going. And, uh, I really want to know what happens if Ethan Mars passes all five trials. I assume he can then save his son, Sean Mars, and then that might satisfy Scott Shelby enough that uh, Scott Shelby decided not to kill any more people, or maybe they do arrest Scott. If um, that happens, maybe Scott turns himself in, or uh, I assume Scott probably would have died in that fight if um, I hadn't got my skull hammered in as Jaden. And uh, God only knows what uh, Madison would, gonna, would do to Scott if she were the one to confront him. Like if Jaden were dead and uh, Madison were alive, then what would happen then? That would be a totally different showdown. So yeah, there's a lot of unanswered questions at the end of this story. It was really quite a story. It was quite a journey. It was, it felt a little too short, but good stories always feel a little too short. If a story feels really long, that's usually a sign that it's either a really bad story or like you're playing the Persona series, which is really good, but really long. <sighs> what am I going to do now? I'm tempted to actually continue this LP and make like a season two of this. 
where I play the game again and try not to screw up as much. And uh, especially where I try to make Ethan and Madison like each other as much as possible and really develop their love story as much as uh, the plot paths allow you to develop it. Maybe I could get an ending where they like, you know, get married or something and uh, have Sean move in with them. That would be a sweet ending to go for. I guess I just have to like have Madison do a better job of patching up Ethan's wounds and um, well I guess it would help if Madison survives because uh, it is really hard to marry a corpse. I think that in a couple southern states you used to be able to get a license to do it but that has long since passed out of practice. Maybe there is some, you know, antiquated Mormon tradition where you could do it. I don't know whether to keep scrambling for jokes or uh, to just shut up and let you listen to this beautiful music or to express my regret once again at uh, the fact that this wonderful game is over and that there is no more until I start over and do it all again. I don't know which game I want to play next. I'm open to suggestions. So if you watch this and you liked it and want to uh, suggest the next game, I am to totally open. Just leave a comment. Also, um, if you live in a really rainy city, enjoy the rain because it really is a beautiful thing. Rain is not the malicious force that this game makes it out to be. It's really like made of water and humans are made of 70% water, which means that rain itself is 70% beneficent to humans. And that's a scientifically, syllogistically proven axiomatic fact. My other piece of parting advice to you is um, make sure your pets are spayed and neutered. We have to control the surplus animal population. We don't want too many feral, feral animals running around in the wild. I don't know how much longer these credits are going to last, so I'm going to have to think of something else. All that comes to mind is uh, the song from George Orwell's 1984. Under the chestnut tree, I sold you and you sold me. And all of it doesn't come to mind because I don't remember it, but just that part that's so melancholy. And this game is so bittersweet. And I wonder if there are any truly happy endings. It seems like no matter what happens, um, this game is designed so you get a little bit of happiness and a little bit of sorrow all packaged together. But that's how life is, right? Life is a mixture of sadness and euphoria, as Billy Joel sings in the lyrics to Summer Highland Falls. They say that these are not the best of times, but they're the only times I've ever known. And I believe there is a time for meditation in cathedrals of our own. Now I have seen that sad surrender in my lover's eyes, and I can only stand apart and sympathize. For we are always what our situations hand us And see the sadness or euphoria And see the sadness or euphoria Thank you for watching and good night.